Hi, it's Jesse Zeman, Executive Director of BC Wildlife Federation. I want to provide a quick bi-weekly update. The board is busy. Uh, the AGM Committee, Strategic Planning Committee, Governance Committee are all meeting weekly or bi-weekly, um, which is great to see. People on the board are really busy right now. The AGM Committee is, of course, planning for this uh, April AGM and Convention. Strategic Planning Committee is looking at everything um, BCWF related uh, right down to the foundation in terms of our mission, vision, values, and then we're getting into the area where we can start um, setting some objectives for the future. The Governance Committee is also meeting regularly. They're looking at our, um, our bylaws, our constitution, our policies, just under the lens of how does this fit in with strategic planning, but also, you know, are we, you know, doing business the way we should be? And is it time to rethink um, our approach in terms of the way that we govern ourselves? So possibly some big changes that all will go through the board, um, but it's really nice to see the board so busy and engaged uh, working on behalf of the membership. Uh, meetings with government, First Nations, stakeholders happening on a daily basis, focusing in right now on forestry, controlled burns, um, broadcast burns and cup locks. The big concern right now, of course, is science-based wildlife management. Uh, we are getting more and more concerned by the day that the province is starting to drift away from using evidence and science to make decisions and is moving into um, a world where uh, politics and um, rationale that's quite frankly unsupported by science um, could end up leading the day and so we are pushing hard to educate uh, the provincial government on the business of science-based wildlife management. The province also recently uh, released a report, a discussion paper on the BC uh, Watershed Security Strategy and Fund. That will be due for public uh, consultation. You'll have to get your emails in by March 18th. The BCWF uh, led that to start through Al Martin. Um, the Watershed Security Coalition has done a great job of which the BCWF is a member of pushing this. It's now out. This is huge for the province in terms of taking care of our watersheds. Um, we're all familiar with the fires of last summer and the floods of last fall. Uh, this Watershed Security Fund strategy is super important. In the news, uh, a whole bunch of news around radium sheep. Uh, of course, we're dealing with a sheep hunting regulation proposal while we're running over sheep every single day in the town of Radium um, due to uh, the way that we manage wildlife and highways in the province. And usually how we manage wildlife on highways is by running them over. Um, so that's a great one to pick up a pen and paper and write to your elected official, your MLA, and say you want to see some more wildlife overpasses in BC, just like they do in the rest of North America. It's time for British Columbia to get with uh, the rest of North America and start budgeting for wildlife overpasses through the Ministry of Transportation budget so that we stop creating uh, population declines in our wildlife uh, through the bumpers of cars and trucks. Uh, in the news, you'll also see the BCWF and 14 other signatories sent a letter to the Federal Minister of Fisheries and to the province talking about listing interior Fraser steelhead um, that process was rejected by the federal government a few years ago. They chose not to list interior Fraser steelhead and said instead, we'll take care of these fish through a management plan, a recovery plan. That was announced in 2019 and quite frankly, over the last two years, nothing of substance has happened and steelhead are in even worse shape than they were back when Kosiewicz said that they were endangered. So that's another one that we will be pushing on. Uh, DFO and on the province to start taking care of these fish. Looking ahead, our next conservation series webinar is February 22nd. It's with the Forest Practices Board. They just released a report in January around improving forest practices to protect water. That will be a webinar where they tell us about what they found, what they've recommended about taking care of our watersheds and our fish, and then you'll get a chance to engage and ask your questions. Next week, we'll be meeting with Kootenai uh, wildlife staff in the Kootenai region to talk about sheep hunting regulations and to talk about their plan to restore sheep in that region and wildlife broadly in that region. Um, as we all know, it's been a multi-decadal slide, especially in the Kootenai region. And uh, to date, there's no um, hope in sight in terms of recovery. So we hope to engage the ministry and work with them to start um, funding and tackling projects that are meaningful for wildlife in that region. 
Thanks a lot. We'll provide another update in two weeks.